morning guys so it's another day another vlog and i am wearing something other than my painting clothes even though i have got to go paint i just wanted to feel a little bit like myself before i do that if you know what i mean anyway as you can see my video is uploading i have been up for four hours or three and a half hours um i've edited three vlogs and uploaded two of them one of them is obviously processing as you can see i've also got like a little help oops a little house updates to do for you guys um i was going to extend it to the vlog that's now processing but it would have been too long so i decided against that and also a pound stretcher haul which you would have obviously seen before this video because i'm trying to upload everything in order if that makes sense so yeah fingers crossed that will work um i have had a couple of hiccups and i want to update you on a couple of things before oops, i go to work quickly and do my manager weekly notice thing i don't know <laughs> i'm sure it will become more um realistic when we do it a bit more it's like the first week of doing it so yeah anyway what i wanted to say is um mine and joey's one year anniversary holiday to cyprus got cancelled because of the whole coronavirus thing and we are we are absolutely gutted obviously but we can't dwell on it do you know what i mean this is the second time that this holiday has been cancelled something is telling us not to go to cyprus which is so sort of disheartening and we you know if we go any other time this year it just isn't going to feel the same because we were going for our anniversary and we're gutted <laughs> We're absolutely good. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how else to say it or what else to do about it. We don't know whether to go to work on that week and then hopefully rebook it at some other time. We're just not sure. We don't understand why our holiday is being cancelled. Maybe they're just being extra cautious because um, the gates are now closed until like the end of April. We were due to fly 10th of May but there's lots of brides on the brides to be page that I'm part of still flying in May at the moment I don't know I don't know our holiday has been cancelled anyway so yeah that's a bit of a disheartening start to um our well it was my weekend off but I found out on Friday and I'd already agreed to go to work on Saturday so I was a bit a bit disheartened and deflated by that but we cannot dwell so we're gonna carry on and keep calm <laughs> So another thing, we um, are going to a treehouse next week, which I will obviously vlog for you guys, but it will be about two or three weeks behind on videos, do you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to upload everything in a chronological order. So yeah, we're going to a treehouse, and then the day after, we were supposed to be going to see Stereophonics, which I um, luckily won through the Aldi app on my phone. I entered a competition i wasn't to win but then somebody pulled out so i won the tickets which i was so excited about because i absolutely love the stereophonics now joey's getting a little bit skeptical when he doesn't really want to go because of the whole coronavirus thing he's got an elderly nan around that he sees quite a lot and his mum's got a lot of health conditions so now he's not sure he wants to go which i totally understand i'm just gutted but some of the teenage cancer trust gigs that were due to be playing that week have also cancelled so we're hoping like fingers crossed we're hoping that um the stereophonics reschedule and postpone the um gig for a later date which we would love because we would love to go it's just not convenient right now we're still going to do the treehouse though because as far as we're aware nothing's been kicking off in kings lynn but there is in uh, london so we're just trying to be a bit more cautious but we're not panic buying or anything silly like that um so with that little deflation being said i did kind of uh spend some money on some beauty products which i haven't done this year yet and at the moment as i film this it is the 16th of march so i think i'm doing pretty well and you know i've bought what a brow product from poundland and a face powder and that is it and we're allowed to treat ourselves once every once in a while and i felt like i deserved it after all that disheartening <laughs> so i did go ahead and buy a makeup brand that's just launched first two palettes which are the rose metal palette by lois cosmetics and also the gone rogue palette by lois cosmetics and then i also caved and brought the march birch box which came with the december birch box for the same price so i thought you know what i'm gonna sign back up i was kind of saving my money for a house 
which we moving into a house yeah admittedly not our own sorry sorry i just got a delivery which was my march to gusta box anyway um admittedly what was i saying i brought the birch box we originally well i originally cancelled my birch box to save money for a house and we are obviously moving into a house now admittedly it's not our own house but it's a house and we're going to be there for a couple of years so we can take a lot of pressure off ourselves with saving and just um, go back to the original savings way that we were doing and I can get my badge box again yeah granted I didn't miss it but you know a little treat every month didn't hurt either so I've done it sorry I've got to go to work now anyway as I say and do the weekly memo then I'm gonna to go to Wilco and see if I can find a bathroom color that I like in the one coat range then I'm gonna come home, have something to eat, sort some drinks out to go to the house with me and then take the cleaning products that you would have seen in the pound stretcher haul and make a start on that second coat of tiles. It's Monday, I've only got two days off this week and Thursday is the other one, which I think will be packing for the tree house, but I will see. <laughs> so I've just bought this from Aldi. Um, it's got that slight duck egg bluey green colour, which will kind of match the uh, kettle so I bought this for the hot chocolate powder for when we move I was gonna get some other ones but I'm still a little undecided so I thought I'd have a look around and see what pops up <laughs> but it is it's definitely more duck egg they are as opposed to grey it's just the light so yeah 6 99 that was and that's 1.1 litres and my weekly memo is done so I can relax now and um, this video doesn't seem to be up, uh, processing very quick so I'm gonna make myself some food <laughs> I would say breakfast but it's not really breakfast anymore and then I'm gonna head off to the house no I'm not I'm gonna go Wilco first and home baggins on the way then the house okay look like looks like I just talked this up I only ordered these on Saturday and it's now Monday can't believe it very nice little um, personal note which is so lovely of Lois to do this and my palettes came packaged like this with a little thank you for your purchase I'm so gutted I've done my makeup now because I would have totally used one of these palettes but let me show you the palettes so under the pink was more bubble wrap so they really really secure so I'll start by showing you Gone Rogue because this is the one I was most excited for you know me I'm a sucker for a bit of pop of colour and just look at the pop of colour on these gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I am so excited to play around with those purples and the tealy colours they look super super stunning I cannot wait to try these out that gone rogue shade is like a glitter but I'm so excited to try it and I am free oh my god they are just so gorgeous thank you so much well I'm saying thank you I paid for these <laughs> I'm just so glad I brought them and now for the rose metal one the packaging is outstanding it's absolutely gorgeous pack packaging and then this is the palette stunning absolutely stunning so yeah this is going to be a gorgeous everyday palette and the other one is going to be one of my like day off palettes honestly these are so pretty if you do want to see some sort of um looks i wouldn't say tutorials i'm not really the tutorial kind of girl but if you want to see me using these palettes then definitely let me know i love supporting people who try to do things on their own now you probably know lois because she does or did a lot of products for makeup revolution she no longer works with them and she's brought out her own brand and she is already a wonderful makeup artist so to be bringing out makeup of her own that she can actually cherish and she can actually be proud of do you know honestly she should be proud and i'm sure she really is this did actually launch on national women's day as well so yeah i'm super excited to play around with these palettes so you guys are wondering, probably, maybe, I don't know, you might be not really sure, but um, I will be decluttering some palettes to make room for these in my collection. As you guys know, I'm not really keen on 
uh, expanding my collection as such and there is certainly a couple of palettes that I want rid of to make room for this rose metal one and there is a couple that I've had my eye on getting rid of um, for this one as well. There is a little bit of a backstory to two of the palettes that I plan on decluttering decluttering but I will share that with you in a different video because I feel like I need to sit down and talk about it a little bit because I've made a couple of comments on it and unfortunately I haven't been able to elaborate too much on it but I definitely will do that for you but for now the beauty of the two palettes wow those palettes look incredible I haven't got excited about makeup for a very long time I think the last exciting launch I'd seen was the Urban Decay Honey Palette um, yeah and that's the only one in a very very long time so to be excited about these palettes really is um, nice I suppose this vlog <laughs> my toast is done this vlog is more like a general vlog today it seems not really like a moving vlog but obviously I will title it a moving vlog because it is part of the moving vlogs do you know what I mean um, whether vlogs continue after this, I I honestly can't answer that right now. But I'm hoping there'll be some sort of um, vloggy type content here. Because I, en I enjoy doing vlogs and they are uh, one of my sort of more interesting videos because I'm not sitting there and talking about the same thing. You know, when things crop up, I talk about them and I feel like you get the real me as such. Um... And as I say, at the start of these moving vlogs, I was very much stuck in a rut with my channel. And now I feel like I'm stuck in a rut with the beauty channel, which is a shame. But at the same time, I feel like I've got a happy medium of things that I can create on the channel um, without being more lenient to one topic. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know, but I am just going to go with it and enjoy what I'm doing as I'm enjoying it right now. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna have some coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna sort my toast and I'm gonna get a move on because Jerry's gonna wonder what I've done today because I haven't done a lot. Well, I have. I've done a lot of YouTube but not a lot of anything else and we're supposed to be sorting this house out. So I've took a risk. I've actually came here in the clothes that I was wearing at home. That is a big risk but I've only got to paint these tiles. I have to say they especially these white ones they look so much better they've only had one coat of paint but they look honestly the whole kitchen looks they're not even finished yet but i'm happy so i'm gonna give these another lick of coat coat another lick of paint i'm gonna meet joey from work at five i'm hoping that between now and then i can do something else because wilkinson's didn't have any one coat of paints apart from ironically some white which we've already had but I'm so much happier with this kitchen. I honestly really am. But yeah, let's get cracking, I guess. This second coat is <laughs> done the world of good it really has considering how bad these tiles really were honestly I couldn't be more impressed I was already impressed after one coat but this second coat has just literally done it for me obviously those pipes will be painted white at some point but honestly I'm so over happy with these tiles and I had half a paint, half a paint, half a tin of paint left before I done the second coat and I still have this left now. So it certainly does mean that working with a roller is much better than working with a paintbrush. 
I'm actually going to sort of head over to the bathroom and do a first layer in the bathroom because I have plenty of paint and plenty of time. is the bathroom I did do a layer on Joey's new tiles just so that when they're finished they should blend in um, that was literally the end of the paint can so considering I done pretty well that is all painted white there um, obviously because there's only one layer it's a little bit patchy it only needs to be thin but I'm so excited that they're gonna be white and me and Joey are going to B&M a little bit later to pick our one coat for the bathroom because we couldn't uh, get any in Wilco because they only had white. And we knew we didn't want to go white in here as well. But I'm going to see before I do my second layer if Joey could like um, sort of fill in those little gaps a little bit there. Because they are gaps. I have done all of the grout and everything. And that's just the gaps. So yeah. Don't tell Joey I haven't been here all that long, but that paint went a lot further than I thought. So instead of glossing in here today, which is the living room, dining room, I decided to do a second layer of, uh, ooh, a first layer of paint in the bathroom instead, just because obviously the tin was open. I nearly finished the tin, it made sense. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've done something. Something is better than nothing and I did actually get some quite sad news this morning uh, Which I haven't actually told Joby yet because he's at work, but I'm sure he won't be uh, I'm sure he'll be upset about it as well. So I think considering I've done all right <laughs> I would say so so I'm gonna uh, go to the charity shop because my only two Favorite pair of jeans. I've now got paint on them because of paint in here So I'm gonna see if I've got any jeans there for me um because I want to wear some when I go to the treehouse next week, so we'll see if they've got any. So I'm actually going to head over to Superdrug and get some fixing spray because the only fixing sprays I've got at the moment are like glittery ones and they are driving me crazy. So I'm actually going to go get a new fixing spray because there's a Superdrug here. I'm going to do that as well and there's a Boots as well so I'm going to go and have a look around those because apparently that's the life I'm living at the moment. And then we've got, um, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got a big cancer research there which I'll go and see if they've got any jeans. Hopefully they have. But they, because I'm obviously a small size, they don't very often have like high-waisted black or blue jeans in my size there. Trousers, yeah, no problem, but jeans, no. 
Okay, I hope that I haven't opened a can of worms with doing a little bit of a makeup border the other day online with the Birch Box and the palette. Because as I said, I popped in Superdrug for some fixing spray. I did get my fixing spray. I got two fixing sprays and then like a new spray that I want to try from Barry M. Um, I also wanted a new BB cream because I'm pretty much out on that. And I wanted some nail care items. So everything I got was really what I needed and what I was going to look for anyway. But it's free for two, so I ended up going a little bit overboard, and I spent twenty pounds in soup drug. The bag don't look full, but you know, hey hey. And I also got my jeans. Well, I got two pairs of jeans from the Cancer Research, and I found another pair of trousers and a top that will go with my little biker boots that I'm wearing at the moment. And I'll show you those. I'll show you the clothes when I get home, and I might do a separate soup drug haul actually. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know on that. And um, I managed to go the whole time without getting anything on my clothes but hand is a different story actually i lie i did get a little bit on my skirt there but other than that you know i completely bossed it with no paint all over my clothes <laughs> so i've actually oh i've got a bit in my hair but um i've just had an email from aldi regarding the stereophonics and unfortunately it's been cancelled anyway like aldi have withdrawn us from being able to go because they don't want us to get ill so that's a shame although we wasn't gonna go anyway I was hoping that they were gonna postpone so that we could go at some other time that is such a shame but okay that's fair enough they're looking after their colleagues I get that I might as well go to go meet Joey and tell him the bad news Okay, I'm now going to run you through my super drug haul because now I've had another look. I don't think it's worthy of its own little haul, so I'll show you that now. Okay, so here are the few things that I picked up. So I'll start here with the Nivea Tinted Day Cream. This is an SPF 15 in it, which is absolutely great, and it is 50ml, so it's going to last me a fair while whereas the ones that I have been using are 15 or 10 mil, so it's definitely going to be a big improvement. Moving along, we've got the Flawless Fix and Mist Matte Finishing Setting Spray by Barry M. Let me just get a receipt in so I can tell you how much these things were. Okay, so the Nivea cream was... £3.65, and the Barry M finishing spray where are you was £4.99 and then we've got the all night long spray which reminds me of the Urban Decay all nighter so I thought I'd pick that up to try which is £4.99 also the reason I picked up the mist and fix is because I know that I like that I have had that from a I want to say glossy box in the past uh, it doesn't last a great deal of time but for five pounds you can't complain and I just wanted to get one that I knew I could trust and didn't have glitter in it then obviously the all night long I wanted to get because I know that I really like the Urban Decay All Nighter and then we have this Serum Mist the Calming Rose Scent um, this was five ninety nine, but obviously they were free for two so I did save myself £7.98 altogether um, for those, well not for those three, but for the six items that I brought, I saved three fifty for each. Three items, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, the Carmen Rose one I generally bought because I was just interested in it. And that's one that you can apply before moisturiser or after makeup. So definitely a versatile product. And then I got two collection nail products. We've got the 2-in-1 Stronger and Longer Nails which I have had some issues with my nails just recently. I got them into a good place and now all of a sudden they've decided that they don't want to be in a good place, probably with all this decorating and stuff. Um, so I got that. And then also I got the two-in-one top and base coat, which I needed a new top coat, but I didn't really want to invest in the one that I do really love right now. So I thought I'd get this as an alternative for now, see how I get on. And if I enjoy it, I'll probably just repurchase it. And then because the nail polishes were free for two, as well as the set and mists, I might as well have gotten one item. Uh, how much were those? Uh, the nail polishes were 2 dollars each. And 
and then the final item that I got was this Rimmel London Clear Radiance Complexion Mattifying Powder, uh, Clarifying Powder, sorry. This is three ninety nine, and this is part of the three for two. Also, um, the Nivea Day Cream wasn't, but I have been um, tempted to pick that up a few times, so I thought I'd just pick that up while I was in there, and I know that I'm running low. So this is in Transparent. So, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but this is something different, so I thought I'd give it a go. And you guys know, as well as I do, that I do get through powders and BB creams and setting sprays more often or not all of the time. So I don't think this was too much of a bad haul. And there's my receipt. I got £2 off. So I saved £9.98 altogether. So I went and met my assistant, Joey, and we went to B&M and look what happened. We hauled quite a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a B&M haul. We got a couple of things from Home Bargains as well, so I'm going to um, share them in the home... No. I'm going to share the Home Bargain stuff in the B&M haul and then I'll also show you the one thing that I got from Aldi although you've already seen it, but I'll put it in the haul if that makes sense, in case anyone's come over just to watch the haul. So yeah, I'll show you that. I'll film that tomorrow. That'll probably be the next video after this video.